Okay, today I'm in Devon with jockey coach Roddy Green and ex-jockey Roddy Green. Thanks very okay. much for giving your time up, Roddy. Um, let's go straight into what you do now. You're an award-winning jockey's coach. Can you sort of tell us as layman what a jockey's coach does? Um, it just helps, basically help young people. Um, young people who want to be jockeys, basically, you're just trying to help them out and help, help them get their, their goals, basically, and try and be as successful as they can possibly be. And it's, there's, a, there's a, quite a lot of work involved in it. You're trying to get them to get a good technique and, um, you know, just achieve their goals. Some, some want to be more successful than others. And how many would you be responsible for at any one given time? At the moment, I'd say I have, uh, on my list, I'd say, I think there's about 37, 38. But that's, when I say the list, that there's a lot of lads there who are finished on the list. You know, lads like who are on their, their year off. In other words, because when they, when they lose their claim, they get like a year with me. When I just sort of, you know, they've lost their claim. They're, they're obviously very good and they don't really need me too much. So, but they have a year where, where they can have, I'll, I'll ring them and say, well done, or we'll chat about something, or if they want to come over here, they can. Um, but we don't do that much anymore, but they're still on the list. So therefore, it's the, the, the main jockeys I look after, are the ones who are like the 10 pound claimers, the seven pound claimers, the five pound claimers, the three pound claimers. But, so, but as they get more into their claim, they don't need you so much, you know what I mean? But it's, it's the ones I, I focus on strongly are the ones who are like starting off. Okay, and today it's nice and peaceful here at the moment. You've got uh, four exercises. Yeah, how, 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 do they come in the mornings every day? Or? No, 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 they, they come, it's all, this, this, this place here, this room here would be used all, it's all at night time. It's all, because obviously they, whether they're point-to-point -point riders or, you know, fully-fledged jockeys or conditionals or whatever, they, they, they come at the even time because they're, they're working during the day. They're working in the yards, they're working in races. Um, so this is this would be all sort of sort of five o'clock onwards or half five basically till whenever time is finished. Um, this would this this room would be used different nights. It we're, 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 we'll be here tonight, um, and sometimes it's three nights a week. Sometimes it's you know it depends on what racing is on. It depends on what's going on at all. And I also use a um, one one day a week. We go up to Taunton uh, in the rugby club there. It's the IJF um, hub up there. We use I go up there on the Fridays as well. Um, so it basically, it's, it all kind of works as one. So who actually employs you? Uh, the British Racing School employ me, and uh, I've there's, but I'd be a full time coach for them. So therefore, this is a, obviously I say it's a full time job where I'm looking after jockeys. I go racing a lot um, because racing, this work here is all for, for for racing. This is to, you know to get to the race course and to do what we're doing here, technique pushing learning the whip properly, you know, doing everything right, the race course is the day that you, you, you practice and do it properly and you hopefully ride winners. Oh, so you're there for support at the races? Yeah, definitely, because like yesterday was a good day. Yesterday was, is a good example of it. Ludlow yesterday, five, six lads riding. Five, yeah, I think it was six lads riding. Um, but three lads who are very young, Bo Morgan, rode a winner. Um, Harry Atkins, he's a 10 pound claimer, good young lad you know, up and coming like the rest of them. Um, and you had um, Jay Tidbull, he wrote a double, which was a, just a good day for him, his first ever double. So I dare to walk the course with him, go through everything with him. I mean, I know Ludlow well, I know the course, how to ride the course, I know how, what's going on, their tactics side of the race, getting it right for them. So they go out positive and they hopefully win, win races and ride well at least, you know. Yeah, so it's a lifestyle for you, it's not a nine to five, is it? No, exactly. You, you know, I, I'm, I make a judgment the night before, right, it's worth me going tomorrow because I got, say, eight, nine lads riding there or whatever. Um, and I can, I can make a difference. That's, that's how I see it. I, I've got to make a difference to them, help them. And afterwards, and if something goes wrong, I'm sat at home watching it. It's not, that's, to me, that's, that's no good. I, need to, I, need, I think I need to be there to try, especially when there's plenty of lads there. It's worthwhile. Okay, and are they, are they all sort of able to ride when they come to you? They're all sort of... Oh, yeah, yeah, they can ride, but of course they're starting off and they just, they're, they're very raw. Some have had point-to-point -point experience, which is massive. Some haven't. So you're trying to just, this side of it's important for the last four, five, sorry, four, five, four, three, two, one, fences out, this sort of work. But obviously there's tactic side of it, just discussing it and getting it right and just having someone to give you a bit of help, basically. And you teach national and flat jockey, so are the basics the same? Yeah, it is. You know, it, you're, it's balance, um, technique. It's, it's, yeah, okay, I know, but you jump jockeys, you're jumping jump, which is very important. 
with the flat boys, there's a lot, you, you know, you've got to be, there's a stalls, um, you, you just tactical experience. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of the kids I, I coach, to be fair, I get them from pony racing. I do a lot of pony racing work. So I know their backgrounds and I've, I've been with them a long time. For example, I've only got two flat apprentices, Taylor Fisher, who's very good, and Billy Lucknan, who's, again, very good. Um, so hopefully, you know, they're pretty high profile, so they're, but they've had that background pony racing where I've got to know them and this is the next step onwards. And so all these guys, I mean, you meet them and you have a, you sort of develop a relationship with them. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, I've known them from a long time um, as, you know, from kids of like 12, 13, 14, 15, all the way up, do you know what I mean? Same with um, the likes of, you know, when I, when I was helping the likes of um, uh, Tom Marquand and Holly Doll, I knew them very young, um, just out of pony race days, basically, and then just onwards. So you'll have like an ever-growing sort of stream of people that may potentially ask you for advice through the years. Yeah, absolutely. Even yeah. though you're not being paid to look after them anymore. Absolutely, you know, and exactly, you know, and we've Harry Cobden's another one. He's, you know, I, I, I was, he was coming to me age fourteen, so and he's twenty, he's twenty-four now, so he's he's not done bad. Okay, and do you sort of give them advice on sort of diet and mental health and that sort of thing as well? Yeah, that, that that's part and parcel of it. I mean. Some, some struggle and some don't, some, some are strong-minded, some, everyone's different, everybody's different. And it's, it's just, you, sometimes people will ask you questions and they'll come and see you quietly and you, that's what you're there for. Yeah, and would you get um, sort of more experienced jockeys come to you and try and get out of bad habits, that sort of thing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, actually tonight, Brian Carver's coming over tonight and Brian is um, one of my old jockeys. I mean, he's only just come out of his claim really. Um, but he's, you know, he's a fully professional now. He's just a, he's had a, an injury recently, so he'll be over tonight. And David Noonan comes quite over quite a lot. Um, yeah, so there's quite a few boys that come over. Um, Lorca Williams, he was over there last week, so there's plenty of plenty of lads who just just need a bit of a touch up every so often. And are you, um, you know, the, the recently the stuff's been in the news about the once again the whip rules have been adjusted, and people are getting long bans for. You know, using the whip too much. You know, what's your personal opinion on just the use of the whip in general? And well, the it's. New rules? I think the the BHA have had. They've you know, they've been criticised. But to be fair, I see their point, and they're doing the right thing, in a roundabout way. And it's um, it's going to be it's going to be really good for racing in a minute because already the jockeys are really they're putting the brakes on. The, the rules are severe, and but it's making a big difference. And I watch races now, and they look very good. And I mean, I'm really hard on the lads now where I'm saying to them, that don't just, you know, wave more, hit less and just be really careful. I'm onto them a lot about it because I don't want them getting banned. And if you, if you go one, on, one, sorry, one over, it's four days, it's, it's severe. You can't, you can't get that time off. You, you can't, um, it's, it's hard. So you just don't get banned, basically. I mean, in, in your day, I'm assuming the whip wouldn't have been quite as kind as it is these <coughs> days. Would it, how much difference, in your opinion, did it make to you know to give a horse a few good cracks? To... Well, look, there's loads of you could, it's, a, it's a huge topic. You can talk about it for hours, but basically, it, actually, a great example is last uh, Saturday at um, in the Brocklesby at Doncaster. I was up there, and young Billy looked man. He was riding, and he obviously on the flat had six hits. Well, he, he he used his six, and I'm watching a race thinking, don't hit him again. And he put his stick down, and the horse actually ran on. So that tells you a lot. Sometimes a horse doesn't need it. I mean, yes, we need a stick as a deterrent. You need to carry sticks. It's, it's, a definite, it's a definite plus. But I think they've got it about right. I don't think we need to be going over. You know, that's enough to my mind. And apart from sort of those rules, how much has it changed since your day? You know, how much have jockeys changed since your day? Oh, massively. Huge. I mean, when I first started... Um, Jockeys, there were some brilliant jockeys riding. There some, you know, Dumuddy and um, Peter Scudamore, and there was fantastic riders and great horsemen. But their whole lifestyles was completely different. There was there was a big, um, um, not so much a pub lifestyle, but it was you know, they they enjoyed themselves and they they worked hard, but they also played hard. And you know, you wouldn't see it nowadays. After in those days, they go to the into the bar after the races. Nowadays, they're going to the gym. It's different. Yeah, and would the um I mean, do you have to be sometimes realistic with your students? So if, if there was somebody that you thought, you know, this guy really isn't going to make the grade, would you tell him or would you just give him more work? I mean... No, we just keep... I mean, I would never do that. I just, you just keep trying, keep trying to get, make them better, help them get better. 
Um, and at the end of the day, as an individual, you, you'll see that yourself. You know, you'll see how you're going and you'll make your own decisions. But my job is to try and help them along the way until they, they, until they say they don't want to do anymore or whatever. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm always optimistic to try and make them as good as, as they possibly can be. And some of the big names in the wedding room these days have come through here. Your school. You tell us some of the people that you've, uh, that you've coached along the way. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a good few. Um, they're making a nice living out of it. Um, you know, they're not all going to be champion jockey, and but it's uh, you know just, just say Harry Cobden, um, Lorcan Williams, Tom Marquand, uh, Holly Doyle, Ross O'Ryan, um, Luca Morgan, who's leading in the conditional title at the moment. So there's there's plenty of people. There's there's there's, there's, a, there's a lot more, but they're just a few a few of the names, and um, you know I, I hope to just keep getting plenty of good lads along the way.